Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose and test the camshaft sensor. It's right down there. There's one on both sides. The other one's underneath the air intake. I'm gonna show you how to go about testing whether or not the sensor's good and testing for shorts in the harness. Now, of course, you may also get the code if your variable timing is failing. So you need to determine if the issue is mechanical or electrical. And this video will cover a range of codes. If you got P0340, P0344, P0345, P0349. First thing I want to do is disconnect the plug and hopefully you can see that little tab down there. Even though my big hand's gonna get in the way, you're not gonna be able to see it, but you push that tab down. So I'm gonna get some WD-40 to spray on there. WD-40 works really well when it comes to removing electrical connections. Let that sit for a couple seconds or so. Ah, slide that off. So what you need to do is take your multimeter. I got a good one right here. And we're going to zero it out. So now on the F-150 three valve I'm going to put the leads from the multimeter on the sensor and we got to read between 205 and 579 ohms if we're not in that range then the sensor's bad so it's going to be kind of awkward but it looks like 341 ohms so I am in spec, the sensor's good. So if you verified your sensor's good, mechanically your time is good, there's no issue with your cam phaser that could cause that issue, we're gonna test between the plug and the PCM now for shorts. Now I'm gonna measure the resistance between the plug and the computer harness. I'm tapped into the gray and red. And I believe it is pin 44 on there. And we're going to see resistance. If I don't see resistance, then we got a break in the wiring harness somewhere. Take my multimeter. Connect it to those pins. And I'm seeing a reading. So now I'm going to flip over to the other side, which is green, and then go off of, I believe it is, pin number 45 on the ECM plug, or PCM plug. So measure my resistance. I'm here. I got good continuity there. So this next test is going to be measuring voltage at this plug and you should not see less than 10 volts on each side of this plug. So there has to be key on, engine off. Turn the key on. Now once again you may have a resistance value when you measure between this and the plug but this test will also confirm if it's bad. So if we see less than 10 volts, so let's go on the gray wire. I read 11.58, so I'm good there. Let's check the green wire. And I'm at 10.45, so I'm still good there. If it falls under 10 volts, there's something wrong with the wire, once again, between here and the PCM. Now, of course, if your battery isn't charged up, then of course you're going to have this issue as well. So we verified that the harness is good. So there you have it, there's a quick test on how to check the camshaft position sensor. Now of course, if you're doing this sensor, it's not gonna correlate with these same pinouts. You'd have to find the pinout, which I believe is 
the next two beside the ones that I tested. I can't remember now. But anyways, just did a few tests to verify the harness is good. If we test the sensor, make sure the sensor is good. These diagnostic tests are good so you don't throw parts at the problem. When in this case, when you get all those codes, it could be mechanical in the variable timing, it could be the sensor, or it could be in the harness. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, post them below, and I'll see you in the next one.